to make a play. Move the chains, tell them get about the way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them get the chains. I score up in the end zone, do my dance all on a hater. A mover and a shaker, you a novice, I'm a player. I'm from DC, but I'm running through and sacking like a raider. Two chains on my neck, one for now and one for later. If we don't play fair, baby, we play for keeps. You can pass me up, this is not a bye week. I'm looking for a trophy competition, looking steep. Yeah, I'm training, I've been focused, I've been bombing from the deep. I'm like, move the chains, I'm about to make a play. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 54, and we'll send you now to Miami, standing by to call their fourth Super Bowl together. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all the sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the New York Giants. Brandon Gaudin, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, many had ordained the Kansas City Chiefs to be the best team in the NFL coming into the season, and now here they are, one game away from their first Super Bowl title since Super Bowl IV 50 years ago. And we'll get to that in just a minute, but how about this? This is their fifth straight playoff appearance. They went to overtime with New England in the AFC title game last year. Remember, they were down big at the half, came all the way back and had a chance to win, lost in overtime, finally climbed that mountain and got back. And do you remember Super Bowl four against Minnesota? Remember Hank Stram as their coach? On the sidelines, mic'd up for the first time. That really gave us a lot of what we have now with NFL films. What a terrific performance by that Kansas City team, and they blew away the Vikings in that game. Meanwhile, what a turnaround for the Giants. Try these numbers on for size, CD. 6-10, 6-10, 11-5, 3-13, 5-11. That's the last five seasons in New York. But now here they are, champions of the NFC, looking for their fifth-ever Super Bowl title. And truthfully, even with all those records you just recited, it hasn't been that long of a wait for them to get back to another Super Bowl. Remember, they won Super Bowl 42 and 46 over the New England Patriots. Now, they got some fortuitous plays in those games, right? You think we'll see another helmet catch? You think that's possible for the Giants to get one of those as they try to win another title? Well, David Tyree's not on the roster. He's not on the roster, but they'll be trying their best to create some magic like those Giants had. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes leading out the Chiefs. Now they, of course, were so close to a trip to Atlanta a year ago. Losers in overtime of the AFC title game. They made it a point that they were going to get back this year, and Mahomes, the 2018 MVP, he has followed through, getting KC to the Super Bowl in his third God, NFL no. season. First carry for Spencer Ware. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Travis Kelsey. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. A look now at the starters for the Giants defensively. Well, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defensive coordinator about their performance last mm -hmm. week because his feeling was good, solid performance, did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely would like to see some improvement in this week's game. They always want improvement, don't they? They certainly do. <laughs> so line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Got his man, it's Williams. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Throwing on second down, Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Now here's Mahomes. He finds McCoy. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Give him three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's gonna focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork, love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down. Here's the offense, and we give you too much power here. We let you highlight the player. Why'd you choose Zeitler? Because I think the big guys up front never get enough credit. Kevin Zeitler, a guard, tough, nasty. We've got to give him some love. Second and six. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 34-yard line. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, 
tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner. With good timing, you get a completion, as we just saw there. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 34. Looking to throw, Bell. He's got his man, this is Tate. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Eight, three. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize here. It's a quarterback sneak. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I'm not sure how much I like the idea of my quarterback trying to sneak it in from the two-yard line. You get those linebackers shooting through, and they can really put a pop on him. And here, he's going to wind up losing yardage. He'll buy some time right, and he will score. Touchdown, Giants, with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Giants have taken the lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. That time a six-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow is the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Off the draw, here's Williams. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. March 47. March 47. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. 
Mahomes on target here to Hardman. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. On second and 12, Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. Mahomes now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He is going to find Hill here. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Yellow, yellow. We're going to water, right? We're pretty quiet. D, we're pretty quiet. Here's Mahomes to throw. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Fumble recovery. Bell flushed to his right. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, 99 yards. And the Giants strike quickly here for six points. Well, on that long touchdown, look, the pass was fine, but it was short. What Saquon did after the catch, that's impressive. And that's just demoralizing if you're on the defensive side of the ball, too, because if he catches a short one, that's your opportunity to tackle him, put him on the ground, and get up for the next down. Instead, he makes a move, he makes people miss, he runs through tackles, he spins, he jukes, and he continues to run because once he gets into the open field and turns it loose, he can fly. Rosas now to add the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive, and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, 
That's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. Now Mahomes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 27 yards, as his guys are back within a single score. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. And New York set to take the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Evan Ingram was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Bell eluding the pressure right. He's going to, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Golden Tate in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Rosas to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime here in the 2020 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. 
It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. This fielded at the two. And nothing but daylight ahead. 20. Touchdown, Giants. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the second half here with Williams. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Again, it's Williams. Continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They'll run on first down. It's Williams. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kareem Martin gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes so clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Credit Julian Love with a pass breakup. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Mahomes, complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes now to throw, and it's complete to Kelsey. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
They fake the give. Now the homes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is taken in at the five. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. On second down, it's Ware. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him. Could... And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Back to throw. Bell. He completes it to Tate. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. 
The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Bell. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Rosas now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Check 26, check 26. Stay in the slot, stay in the slot. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic, and people want to put a little contact on it. Really well done. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. 
Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 41. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. But it looks like the Chiefs are going to get it back. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They go play action here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. We ain't giving him nothing. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking. And Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Evan Ingram, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Rosas to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. 
That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Throwing on first down. Bell flushed out right. And it's incomplete. Still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. And the New York football giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports. In the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros. euros. Left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Step back, let me get some room. Congrats every time I'm through. Say packing nobody new. So I never get confused. Hotel get a bird's eye view. Hotel get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, I'll be done so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so... The Super Bowl's over, the season is coming to a close, but before we usher you into the off season, it's time for another edition of Believe, Believe It or Not. Yeah! Hey! Let's go. Guys, yeah. the first time ever a rookie quarterback started and won the Super Bowl. Schrager, believe mm -hmm. it or not, this kid is a legit franchise quarterback. I hate to be dismissive of you or the segment, Kate, but of course, yes, he just won a Super Bowl as a rookie. I think he's not only the franchise quarterback for now, but we're talking 10 
15 years. It was unbelievable what he just did. Kyle? Mm. Uh, I had some doubts back in April. It's a really good look for me right now. But yeah, I mean, this guy's incredible. They struck gold in the draft. They found their franchise guy, Nate. This is it. 100%. We saw this dude go from college backup to NFL elite in one season. Listen, if his rookie season is any indication of what things are to come, oh yeah, it's going to get even better.